in my experience in summer, avoid three things. Memorial Day weekend, July 4th weekend, and Labor Day weekend. Three major holidays in the United States of America where there is extreme traffic, congestion, stress, and just too many people. And you want to avoid situations that induce stress. And the biggest trap is the three holidays of summer. Memorial Day weekend, July 4th weekend, and Labor Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend starts in the beginning of summer. July 4th is in the middle. Labor Day is at the end. And people feel an obligation to go out, to go to the beach, to go to um, a lake, to go to a tourist area, to take their kids out. And look, if you got young kids, you got to do what you got to do. But I'm talking to adults and I'm telling you, one thing I learned in my life, and it's a very important thing, and that's why I'm making a live feed about it. I don't care who, who likes it, is that as I became my own adult, I had to be conscious of what environment I'm putting myself in because that produces a reaction in me. It produces a quality of life. And me personally, I don't enjoy, especially as I get older, to be around big crowds, congested areas, and just a clusterfuck. And that's what Labor Day, July 4th weekend, and Memorial Day weekend are all about. And for me, part of coming to Florida, too, good to see you, Johnny Midas. Shout out to everyone on a members-only check-in. How are you, Johnny? Shout out to uh, California. Good to see you tonight. Palm Desert. Sophie, what's up, Sophie? Hello, glad to be here. Glad to, glad you're here. I, I remember someone in the beginning of my chat used to follow my channel. And when, when I started getting more and more people in the live chat, they said, oh, it's too crowded tonight. I can't be in here. You know, some people psychologically, I mean, they can't be around more than 10 people. Uh, you know, they're, I mean, I'm not like that, but I definitely don't like uh, congested areas. I mean, even for me, I, I kind of design my life where, you know, look, Florida has a lot of open beaches, a lot of open area, not just Miami Beach, not just South Beach. You know, New Jersey is a very tight area. There's not that much land, not much, that much beach. And you got people from New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Philadelphia, Delaware, and they all cluster and they fight for funnel cakes on these three holiday weekends. And for me, part of what I like to be about, part of what I like about Florida in the summer is one is there's not too many people here in the summer. Most people are up north. So that's a win. Two is there's enough beaches. There's enough land where you could spread out. You don't have to be in congested areas. And, you know, you kind of avoid the big three. The big three of summer, you want to avoid some unnecessary stress. Avoid holidays of Memorial Day weekend, July 4th and Labor Day. That's my message. Johnny, I hope you're doing good there, man, out in Palm Desert. Sophie, I love you all my heart. You say inspirational nomad. I'm not happy today. Tell me a story. I remember being in Miami Beach. I was at some, I don't want to say it was a bar, but it was like, it was like a bar. I was at some. Uh, spot. This was a while ago. And there was some hot uh, bartender. And I told her, I said, tell me a story. She looked at me like, like I was crazy. She said, tell you a story, <laughs> basically. And she was like, what do you want to drink? You know, so I was like, uh, uh, I took an L on that one. Uh, sometimes in life, guys and girls, we take an L. Okay. Don't be uh, scared to take an L. When you take an L, uh, just keep your mouth shut and take it with dignity. Okay, don't try to overcompensate for a loss. Uh, that's how you make your life worse. Okay, some people can take a loss. It's it's amazing. Uh, but you live to fight another day, and that's kind of what I'm doing. As I get older, I do say one day at a time. Um, you know, you can't always worry about the worst case scenario. And when I do start to worry about the worst case scenario, I so say I just got through another day without a major disaster. Uh, focus on some of the positives. Uh, manage your time so that you don't psychologically miss out on the time that you have. Uh, Johnny, oh, Sophie, what can I tell you? What can I tell you that inspires you? Well, 
you know, we, we are all trying to get through life as best we can, but it's going to require, it requires some effort. You know, I was telling my man, Charles, I love Charles. He's been great to me today. Uh, he's been great to me throughout my journey. He's just someone who watches me, but I was telling him, you can't hide from life. You can't hide from trolls. Now you could put members only. And I do, you can't hide from, but there's always going to be some people in life you work with, or you got to deal with that are trolly. You got to navigate around them. Uh, but don't let them bully you into doing nothing. You know, a lot of people just drop out of workforce and drop out of life because they think, well, it's less pain. I don't have to deal with people. Huh. Yeah. Now you got financial anxiety and now you're not happy. Look, you're not going to be happy hiding in life. It just doesn't work like that. You got to fight for your best life. Now, I'm not saying you fight every battle and I'm not saying you fight meaningless shit. But to me, how I look at it is fuck it. You know, if I got to feel pain in life, it ain't going to be from rolling over in the bed. It's going to be uh, going after my best life. Uh, Sophie says, I avoid crowds. I hear that. I like solitude. Hear that? I can function without anxiety in crowds, but I do prefer to be alone. Sophie, me and you on the same page on that. Doug, what's up, brother? How are you, man? Good to see a lot of people telling me, man, they're having this credit card fraud. Uh, maybe something going on. What I would tell you to do again, log on your account every day. The bank accounts, uh, the credit cards, they catch most of them. And believe me, uh, so don't worry about that. And, you know, log on to your accounts, check them, pull your credit score once a year. And don't worry about the rest. Why? You got through another day. The credit card company caught them and you're still living good. Don't even worry about it. What I could tell you in life, guys, you know, when you're not doing foul shit, uh, that's one less thing you have to worry about. Um, and, and especially for my younger people, I would tell you, uh, get away from doing foul shit as early as you can. Uh, because as you get older, if you're still doing uh, wrong things, it's like it's like st having bad habits. Can't, it's harder to break habits the older you get. Okay? And as a 42-year-old man, what I can tell you is I'm glad I broke some of the bad habits, uh, smoking cigarettes, um, occasional alcohol. I was never like big in alcohol. I was never in any hard drugs. Thank God. I smoke weed though. I, to me, again, if you're young, under 25, I get smoking weed. If you got real mental problems or physical problems and smoking weed helps you. But I'll tell you guys, I, I, you know, when I walk by a parking lot and someone's smoking weed and they're playing their music, I say, Oh my God, man. It's just to me, it's like, it's, it's to me, that's not, that's not medicine. I mean, it's just, I don't know, but maybe it keeps them from killing someone. I don't know. But I'll tell you, I said, man, if, instead of smoking weed to relieve the anxiety, what if they went for a walk, you know? But, you know, again, when I was young, you couldn't tell me that. That's what I remember. But again, when you're under 25, you can do a lot of things. I, when I was under 25, I went Labor Day, Memorial Day, July 1st. I went, I went on the holidays, the three holidays of summer to the uh, Jersey Shore and to crowded areas, uh, to clubs. But what I can tell you is as I get older, and as I matured, I realized I don't want to put myself in those environments anymore. It's too much stress, too much volatility. Um, now, I don't want to get to a point in life, guys, where I'm smoking weed by myself, okay, to calm my... Well, you know, look, you get to a certain point where you smoke weed, you're, you, all you're doing is feeding an addiction, okay? Now, your neurological system has adapted to weed, and your mind can't calm down without it, okay? Yeah. I mean, I would even say that to a certain degree, I was addicted to weed. Aaron, Aaron at Crazy Link, uh, Crazy Ink. Oh, Crazy Legs was the one, Aaron. <laughs> crazy Legs was the one I thought was Crazy Ink, and he was smoking weed. Uh, Aaron, how are you? Aaron may have sold at the top of the housing market. I may have bought at the top of the housing market. So what do I say about that? I say, enjoy every season of your life. What would I say to someone who just sold their house and living in their van? I, again, I'd tell you, enjoy it, uh, especially if you kept a job. Why? There's no pressure on you. Okay. And you raise two kids. You don't have any pressure. Oh, we got a new member. I hope I said the name right. Jana Stein. Jana Stein, welcome. I appreciate you. I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to light up weed. I'm going to take a swig of filtered triple water. Jonna, welcome to the live feed. If you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, you don't have to. 
What we're, what are we talking about tonight? Well, we're talking about avoid high stress weekends. Memorial Day weekend, July 1st, and Labor Day. Why? Because it makes summer very, you know, look, it just makes summer, man, unenjoyable, man. You, you feel so much pressure and uh, to put yourself to go out. And then you go out, and then you're not happy. Remember, guys, even on a holiday weekend, work out, regulate your diet. Uh, because what I've seen, especially when I was working in the office, you know, people fucking party too much on a holiday weekend. Then on, on Tuesday or whenever they come back to the office, God, oh my God, it's a disaster. Sally, hey Sally, shout to you, shout to Morocco. Happy to see you again. Good to have your purple fire member only emoji. Sally, you want something in life, you got to show up. You got to put effort, you got to feel pain. Because I want to tell you, I've never saw a painting sell being hidden in a closet. Okay. And not unless you're going to die and your kids inherit it and then they liquidate it. Uh, Jonna says, thank you. Well, thank you, Jonna. I want to give you more than an Aldi shopping cart. I want to give you consistent showing up. I want to give you energy. I want to give you a structured topic. I want to give you something. I appreciate that, Jonna. Aaron, AKA Crazy Inc. Laughing. I am well. You're doing great. I'll never be out of a job for sure. Social worker is probably the most high demand job right now in society. Even though I see a lot of people going back to the workforce, I've seen a lot of people today, like in training and getting back into the workforce. Why? Now they're realizing, got to make that money. Brandon, $4.99 says super chat. Glad I showed up. Congrats on your home base. Thank you. Been watching you the past four years. Happy for you. Brandon, I remember you. I appreciate all your encouragement throughout my journey. And I thank you for that gracious tip. How do I feel? After five years on the road buying a home base. Overall, I still feel solid about this decision. I don't feel regret. It's a little boring. It's not as adventurous as the nomad life. But I'll be honest with you. As I'm getting older and after having five years full-time on the road, I also don't have it in me to keep traveling the way I was. Even, even though it's local. I, I'm getting older. I accept I, I want to do less. Uh, and I just want to focus on a daily routine with some variety. So it's a little sad. I'm not going to lie. It's a little sad. It's not as exciting. Uh, but I'm getting older. I don't want to do it as much anymore. And I wanted balance. And I wanted to buy something by the beach under 200K. Um, so it, it's always going to be a duality. There's nothing perfect. If I would have stayed a nomad full time, you know, that season kind of wore itself out. Uh you know, you said, well, you could have got a class B. Well, all a class B is, is a bigger Jeep. <laughs> okay. But I'm not mad at that. I mean, it's a house, but you know, you know, again, you think a little long-term asset allocation, you think balance and I, and I have been using it 50% of the day so, at night, definitely. And then a couple hours during the day and it gets me out of the public. So Brandon, I want to thank you. I appreciate that. Let me go back to these live comments. Let me go back. And get at it. I appreciate you. Uh, Aaron was saying, this will make you laugh. We can't even keep up social workers. I want to tell you, you cannot keep enough social workers in today's society. Why? There's a lot of people that need guidance, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I want to tell you, now, I don't know what the average social worker pays. It's probably not like high-end corporate, but it's job security. And it's above average and it's got good benefits and you can do other stuff on the side, other therapies on the side like you do. So there's a lot of value there. But the biggest negative, this is my opinion, looking from the outside in, Aaron, you correct me if I'm wrong. Love you too, John. I appreciate you joining tonight. I hope I give you value. I want to tell you the biggest negative of being a social worker, in my opinion, because I'm almost like a social worker in some instances is it's like being a, a correctional officer in a jail. You put yourself in an environment where you see trauma every day. And when, you, when you're a social worker, when you're a nurse, I dated a couple nurses. When, when you're a social worker or a nurse, when you deal with uh, the ER, the emergency room, when you deal with people destitute, mental problems, drug problems, that's trauma. And you have an empathetic heart so you can deal with it. But, 
you still have to put your oxygen mask on yourself first. A lot of self-care. My man Mavano knows that. He dealt with the criminally insane. So all my social workers and all my nurses, all my correctional officers, everyone, and all my YouTubers, don't give up YouTube, but you got to take care of yourself. Why? Because there's a lot of trauma in this world. No horror movies. No more horror movies. No more big rides at Great Adventure. It's time to stop committing self-induced trauma so that when you are tending to people who are in emergency, you are sober-minded, you're not a weed head, and you have enough capacity because you haven't burnt up your mind by watching a horror movie. Now you got a real-life horror movie. You got some destitute, mentally ill person that complains about high rents but doesn't work. They complain about the new Tennessee law about you're going to be a felon if you camp at a park at night when you're not allowed to, and you're going to get a 24-hour warning, and if you disregard that warning and you still park there, then they're going to arrest you, or they have the discretion to, then the prosecutor gets to decide if they give you a felony. You are conservative. You voted for that. That's what you want. If you want liberal, you go to California. Hey, lock them up. Felony charge. Okay. Because what I can tell you, a lot of these conservatives that don't want to work, that complain about rents, okay, you thank God that's going to be a felony, okay, for you to stealth park. Thank God. Okay. Oh, I love you. All right, let's take pause. I got a whole video coming about that. <laughs> Aaron, how are you? Are you settled in? I'm settled in, but it, well, I don't want to say 100% now. I'm not 100%. I'm definitely better now. It's only, almost been a month since I closed on a property. It's, it's a, I'm still grieving, to be honest with you, because it's a big lifestyle change. I love the nomad life, and I, I still grieve in it. Um, I'm not regretful, so I am enjoying the balance and the stability of the home base and the dream accomplished. So I, I don't want to lie to you either that I, I feel I've made the wrong decision. But I'm like in the middle. That's balance. Uh, it's not exciting. You know, but when I go back there at night, I enjoy it. Uh, you know, there is still something of thrilling about, you know, sleeping in my car. But I would say towards the end, it was more campgrounds than stealth because I did get burnt down stealth, even though I never had a major problem with stealth. You know, I did, that season was just over. It's like, so I felt, I felt like I felt after I started to, in the beginning of me, stop smoking cigarettes, in the beginning of me, stop going to the strip club. I wasn't like totally excited about stop doing something, but I gradually evolved into a different person. Uh, and now I can't even smell cigarettes without being upset. I, you know, I smell weed. Weed still smells good, but it's the, it's the scent of underachievement. So it's like, that's how I look at the home base. Hopefully that helps. Thank you again, Jonna, for joining. Thank you, Jonna Stein. Love you too. Shout out to all my members tonight. Johnny Midas, Sophie, Aaron, John Stein, Salih, let's go back to these live comments. Brandon, thank you again for that tip. Aaron, average, oh, okay, well, that's a, that's about, uh, well, that's about average. Average pay of, uh, average salary for America is probably around 60, 60 yeah, about 60,000, so that's average. But you can make a lot more than that. She goes, average pay is 60K, horrible pay for the amount of education we need to get licensed. Well, that's a good point. Yeah, you need to go to college, right? What, what's a pro tip I would give anyone that still has college did? I said, wait till Biden, wait till his last day in office, because I believe that, especially if it gets voted out, no matter what, whether it's one term or two, there's a shot that towards the end, just like, remember when Trump, remember when he, uh, what's that thing they do where they let people out of prison? Uh, they give them like an, an absolving of, they, he freed little Wayne, you know, so you're, you know, the last day of Biden's presidency, whether it's in 2024, or 28, I think he may just cancel Kyle's loan debt, but you ain't going to get that to the end, you know, <laughs> but if you can pay it off, pay it off. Uh, but that's a good point. Yeah. To get that 60 K, you got to go to school. Yeah. Uh, Sully, uh, but not the school for an artist. Okay? And I'm sure guys, if you want to be a social worker without going to school, what should you do? Guys, you can do so many things without going to school, man. Um, you know, like I say, guys, just work at Planet Fitness, man. 
and, and just learn how to work. You know, I, you know, anyone, I, this is what I want everyone. I want you to do. I want you to listen to me tonight. If you know anyone that complains about high rents, ask them or look in their life, see what they do for a living, see how they live uh, and see how many hours a, a week they work. Now, again, I don't want to, guys, look, we all want an easier life, but you got to work for that. Okay. I mean, you know, so, and if not, you take it in the ass. I mean, there's only one, there's only a couple ways to go in life. Now, if you figure out something, I'm all for it. If you figure out how to get around everything and you're doing you fine. But if you get a felony in Tennessee for stealth camping, I'm not going to bail you out. Never forget that. Salih, self-care, you're getting it. Everything with order. Keep showing up. You're killing it. Keep pushing forward. No Bitcoin. If you do want to buy Bitcoin or you want a highly speculative, risky investment, you have to have 25000 in savings. You have to have little to no debt. You have to have other diverse assets, and then you put less than 30% of your net worth, if at all, into something risky. And you'd be very careful about that. So you are definitely listening, Salih. Love and respect. Aaron, I would imagine it takes time to adjust. Yeah, I'm, I'm you know, it's a mixed emotion thing, the home base. I'm in the same boat, but opposite. Yeah, now I get that. I think about you often. You know, I think for you. You may like the home base more than the nomad life if you had to choose. I may like the nomad life more than a home base if I had to choose. But there's seasons and there's wisdom. And if I really don't like the home base, I'll sell it. So, you know, how do you know if I don't like my decision to home base? I'll sell it and I'll do a video about it. So until I get to that point, I'm still saying it's good. Um, but Aaron, look, I th I still think no matter what you decide, you made the right decision. Why? Because you raised two kids and you don't need that big a house. And I think you should go through a season of life where you have little to no responsibility and you just kind of work on yourself and heal and enjoy. I think that's good. I think you're in a good season. Um, back to loud comments. Aaron, are you planning to stay members only? I'm going to balance it. Majority of them are going to be members only. And I'm going to have occasionally uh, public chats. Now, I could change my mind, but I think that's how I'm going to go forward. I'm, I'll see how it plays out. But I'll, I'll balance it. I may have two days a week where it's public. I may have none. I may have three days a week when it's public. I may have none. But right now, uh, especially after I opened it back up, it was great. And a lot of great people are out there that are part of the public. But it also, there, there's no boundary. There's no admission. And there's too many reckless trolls and there's just a couple of them but they keep creating profiles that it's just not worth the aggravation uh, i could do something else with my time i don't want to deal with that so you know like i said guys you pay the cost to be the boss you got to work your way to that point where you can get members and then you got to be willing to take the heat if it works right or wrong but look i think i think for 4.99 a month that's like one super chat per month uh and you can cancel anytime I think that's a fair enough, uh, you know, fee. And if people don't want to just watch on the side, that's the, their thing. Uh, but that's how I feel tonight. Uh, Aaron, we need a master's degree. Do you? I'm surprised. See, this is for being a social worker. We need a master's degree. So two or three years of school on top of four year degree, it's a lot. I thought I knew a couple of social workers. They got a bachelor's. You need a master's. I didn't know that. I have to look that up. Okay. Aaron, for me, even if I do go back to home base, I need this. Yeah, this is what you got to do. You got to work on your daily routine, your habits. She goes, I need this to make new habits. Yes, self-care and putting myself first. Yes, and smaller square footage when you buy the property and buying it where you want to live. And if you buy it in a new area, it's going to be sad. So for right now, just settle into very little responsibility and self-care. I'm so used to taking care of other people that I forgot me. I want You got a master's degree in helping others. Now you got to get a master's degree in helping yourself. I want to thank you, Lord. Aaron, this is an abrupt change for me. I, no, I'm, I'm praying for you daily. That it's making me pay attention to every hour, manage your time. 
Much better than I would in a house. Yeah, when you have a house, you have to take care of the house. When you have no house, you have to take care of you. If you don't go to the gym, if you don't go to the beach, if you don't go for a walk and you don't have a house, you have no one to blame but yourself. And that's good. Aaron, this is, oh yeah. To be, okay, to be a licensed social worker who does therapy. Okay, that's probably the difference. You have to have a master's. There are jobs for people, okay, with bachelors, but they aren't what I do. I get that. Okay, you are at a higher level capacity. It's like being a journeyman electrician or a licensed electrical contractor. I get that. So when you're licensed, there's a higher degree of social work and therapy that you can do versus just having a bachelor's. That makes sense. Okay, good comment. Thank you for sharing. I want to thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Sali. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Jana. Sophie. I love you, Sophie. I love you. Doug. I don't want to forget about Doug. I feel I'll forget about Doug sometime on that weight journey, brother. One day at a time. Johnny Midas. We're still in here tonight. I want to give you some more value. I've been on here for a half hour. No commercials straight through. Every day. Every day you get an episode of Seinfeld without the commercials. Every day you get a personal trainer, okay, without the bullshit. Every day you get a therapy session from a licensed social worker without the license. Every day. I'm approving vouchers and I'm denying vouchers. You better show up to social services tomorrow before 11 or you're denied. So what I want to tell you in this world where I'm the judge, Judge Judy, I'm the executioner, even though I will not execute, and I am whatever else. What do they call it? The judge? Oh, yeah. The judge. I am the jury. I, well, I've been called the jury duty a few times. And I'm going to lock some of you up. But I try to avoid jury duty as much as I can. Why? <laughs> Guys, I got other shit to do, but I'll do it if I have to, but don't tell them when. I'll try to do it. I'll try to do it. Don't be upset. So let's take our drink. Click that thumbs up if you haven't. Thank you, all my members. Thank you, Brandon. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel good overall, though. Uh, I'm staying low key in the community. Uh, but the community is like a resort community, so it's it's a little bit still like a transient campground, which I like. Um, and I said to myself, Sam, well, you've been there for a month now. If you want to go do some camping, you could do some camping one day or not, or you know. And that's I'm still in the season of balance, right? So I've kind of like settled in now. I've got all the administrative work. I've been at my home base for a month. I'm only using it fifty percent of the day. Fifty, you know, well, if I include night and a couple hours during the day. And then I'm still, you know, I still make sure I get outside and I go to a park. So I walk, I, you know, I have been using that private beach. Very nice. And, um, you know, so, you know, we'll see. I, I may mix in some camping, um, but I'm not going to do any far thing until uh, the fall when I go visit my mom. So, uh, but yeah, I'm tired. I want to tell you guys, look, now at 42 uh, I don't have, and I know some of you old bastards that are living in your car. You're mad at me when I say this. Well, screw you. You stay in your car all day. I mean, come on. You don't do anything. You stay in your car. Okay. You fucking roll around. You watch YouTube. Hey guys, look, I'm very active. Okay. So it's a different, different wear and tear on our tires. Okay. So for me, okay. Remember guys, you show up your channel, your life. You say whatever the fuck you want. Okay. These other people that strongly disagree with you. <laughs> You tell them, take a seat. A social worker will be with them in a minute. Yeah, you know what I mean? Don't worry about it. Take a seat, bro. Okay. So for me, guys, I, I don't have, I've been on the road full time for five years. I don't have that energy to do that anymore. Okay. Uh, I, well, I do. I don't want to say that, but I, I feel I'm getting burnt out on it. I mean, that's part of the balance of my life. So the coin of Morocco is 10 cents to the US dollar. The membership is very cheap. Well, thank you for telling me that. Okay. So, well, I know Morocco is a rich town. Isn't that, um, well, a rich part of the world. Isn't that where French Montana's from? Uh, so let me see this. How many, so wait a minute. What is $5 to the Morocco? Let me see if I spell that right. So five U.S. dollars is almost 50 Moroccan dirham. 
That's a, so it's fifty dollars. That's a lot of money. Well, but like I said, Morocco, you're rich. Uh, Sally, if you want to share, are you were you born into wealth? I don't know because I from but this is my limited understanding. I could be wrong on this. Morocco's got a lot of money. So you may know someone in government or you may be born rich. Like, do you work or were you just born rich? Or or is Morocco not like that? Is Morocco like they got Walmarts? Uh they got like, you know, people are cleaners. You know, in my mind, I could be totally wrong. Like you're born wealthy or you know someone in the government. Uh and then the rest of the people, like, they're indentured servants. You know, it's like, you know, I don't know, but that's, I could be wrong on that. Am I wrong on that? Let me Google Morocco um, and see where it is on the map. Because I remember it's like a little island, right? Or like on the edge of a, a continent, isn't it? Morocco, officially the kingdom of Morocco is northmost country in the... Maragig region of North Africa. It, it's over by the Mediter Mediterranean Sea. Yeah, so you borderline Algeria and south of you is Western Sahara. Yeah, yeah but it's, a li it's like a little rich coastal town. That's how I perceive it. I could be wrong. But you got to know someone to live there. That's like Palm Beach. Yeah. To me, that's like Palm Beach. Okay. Like, you know, you didn't just like, you know, wake up at Palm Beach. You got, your family was wealthy as a mother. I could be wrong. Aaron, laughing. Social worker will put, yeah, I agree with this. It will put you on a two-year waiting list. Well, I want to tell you guys, you said, why should I sign up for a subsidized apartment is a long list. Well, if you ain't working a long time, shit, you ain't got nothing but time. You might as well get on the list now. Because before you know it, two years will pass. You still ain't work. And at least now you got an apartment. So remember, guys, you can look at the line and say the line's too long. Or you can get on the line and wait for it to just naturally get shorter. Because if you ain't doing nothing, you might as well do something. Yeah, that's how I feel. So... Uh, look, and for all my people out there trying to get disability, or something, guys, that takes years. You got to be persistent. Um, you know, but like I say, if you ain't doing nothing, you ain't got nothing but time. Okay. Salib, send some money to these destitute people. They need your help. I want to tell you guys in this world where there's two jobs for every unemployed person, uh, you know, get a job. If you need money, if you don't need money and you're happy the way you are, don't worry about no damn job, Aaron. For sure, get in line. Yeah. Look, to me, it's like, guys, if you already know your track record, I always tell you guys, how do you, how do you, how do you kind of like predict your future? Look at your past. If you have a track record of not being able to hold a job, then you're not going to be able to hold a job. Now, if you can't qualify for a subsidized apartment or disability, you better find a, a social worker like Aaron or you better work a job. You better figure something out. Uh, but look, I can't figure out everyone's life. I'm thankful for my job. I've worked hard at jobs I've hated. Um, I, I tell all, here's my sales pitch to everyone in the workforce. The longer you stay in the workforce and the more you move up, you take the promotion. To me, the easier it should get. There's going to be some bumps along the road, uh, but... You have to remember the workforce is like any other marketplace. The more experience you have and the more things you go through, the more knowledge you have. The more knowledge you have, the more employable you are. The more you deal with things, the more confidence you have and the abilities you have. And now you're at a higher level of demand. You know, more, more services are demanding your abilities. When you don't do anything and then you jump back in the workforce, you want a good job, you're not that employable. You got to start at a bottom level because you don't have any experience or resume or credentials to, to help a company or to navigate whatever job. So you got to start from the bottom, like Drake started from the bottom. Uh, now you're here. Sally, I love you. Hopefully I, I believe, I don't know if I was wrong about Morocco. Don't be mad at me. I don't know about Morocco. I only know a little bit. 
Uh, shout out to you. Shout out again to John Stein. My man Doug, Johnny Midas, Sophie, Aaron, Brandon, thank you again. What else can I tell you guys and girls? Well, I can tell you I'm going to take a long, hot shower. Not too long. I'm going to put on some baby powder lotion and go for a walk uh, by the ocean breeze and call it a night. Oh, my God, Marcel. Thank God for staying on live feed and sweating and not ending it early. Marcel, he's been with me a long time from overseas also. I got a big overseas crowd. It's unbelievable. Welcome back, Marcel. Damn it. You're part of original membership. I got a lot of people from overseas, man. Marcel, shout out where you're from. We got Morocco in here. We got New Hampshire in here. We got the Pacific Northwest in here. Sophie's from South Carolina. Marcel's from overseas. Uh, Johnny Midas is from the desert. We're representing all around the world here. Guys and girls, you say, I don't want to do anything. I want to just roll around in my bed and play video games. Well, I can tell you guys, for the past 40 minutes, I made a decision to go after a goal. I've made that decision for every night for five years streak. And it doesn't pay off the first year. It doesn't pay off the second year. It doesn't pay off the third year. But as you keep doing it, don't change your channel name. Don't change your channel. People are looking for consistency, not volatility. Just keep your name. Marcel, laughing. I'm not rich. I'm not. The membership is like I took two cups of coffee at a normal cafe. Well, I want to tell you, Sali, you sound like an elitist like me. And I want to thank you, Sali, because <laughs> I love, I appreciate that. Shout out to you, Sali. Shout out to Morocco. Shout out, we're throwing off, we're throwing away coffee. Like we're puffy and hate me now video, just throwing around Cristal. You say inspirational nomad, I can't afford to have coffee at a cafe. I got to make my own coffee. Okay, well, how much do you spend on your coffee? How much do you spend on your coffee filters? How much did you spend on your coffee machine? How much did you spend on your creamer? How much did you spend on electricity to make that? And then it still sucks. Buy Starbucks. Hey, Sally, they got Starbucks in Morocco? What's the name? They got anything like that in Morocco? I hope they don't have Dunkin' Donuts. They can't. I know. If I know anything about overseas, there's no way a rich country there's no way a rich country like Morocco would allow Dunkin' Donuts to, to be in their atmosphere. I, I doubt it. I can't even believe, well, there ain't no Dunkin' Donuts on Palm Beach, in my understanding. I could be wrong on that. I've never seen one. So. Uh, love to you, Sully. Love to you, Marcel. Yeah, guys, look. One of the things, well, who said it tonight? I think Mar Mar Sully was saying it. Look, show up, self-care, manage your risk. Keep showing up. This is the essence of everything I teach. You say inspirational nomad. Why repeat the lesson? That's what we do in life. Then you say, okay, I get it. What should I do? You got to do the things you don't want to do. That's You got to be in the mood to do things you're not in the mood to do. You say, well, I don't like doing that. Well, hey, guys, look. When I end this live feed, I've been here now for almost an hour. That I want that's another thing I want to tell you guys. Start something and keep doing it before you know it's almost over. <laughs> okay. You, you can think about something, not do it, and before you know it, you did nothing. Never forget that. Salib. Yes, we have Starbucks, but not the same as yours. Ah, why? At least you got it. But yeah, I always wondered about that. Like the Starbucks in Thailand, the Starbucks in uh Morocco, the Starbucks in I don't know, in Europe or China, are they the, I, yeah, I, I doubt that would be the same. Because I think overseas, right, tea is more of a, a drink than coffee, right? So, like, I think in China, Starbucks serves a lot more tea. I could be wrong on that. You say inspirational nomad, do you want to travel the world? Nope. Uh, I'm basically in the Caribbean while staying in America, and that's what I like to do. Why? Well, I, I don't know. I've never had a desire to travel around the world. I never really even had a desire to travel to the West Coast, even though I respect the West Coast, but I don't know. You have to have a desire. Um, your desires change in different seasons of your life, and you have to have the money, and you have to have the ability. Uh, but I, I had an opportunity, which I'm very grateful for, to go to California and to reposition my life there and, and you know, with a job and everything, and I was very grateful for that. And I thought about it, but 
for me, my goal is Florida. And I do feel more comfortable, especially as long as my mom is around. I hope she's around a long time. Is that I feel a little bit more, even though the mileage is very similar, just going straight up I-95, straight up the eastern coast and being back in New Jersey for my mom. Now, the west coast, uh, even if I was just me in this world, I don't know. I don't like it dry. You know, does the humidity get to me? No, I mean, you know, look, it's it, take one with the other. Does wildfires get to you? Yeah. Yeah, you take what to go with the bad, you know, and it's like what works best for you. That's why I got the home base too, guys. Like, look, you know, I could just fucking ditch around for everything, uh, ditch around forever, but, you know, you get to a certain point where 90% is as close as you're going to get to anything in this world. But, you know, look, if you're single with no pets, no kids, you never have to buy a home base. You can, I don't know if you can nomad forever. Uh, but look, I'll tell you, as a 42 year old man doing it for five years, I'm getting, I'm getting tired. I want to do a little less. Well, that's true. All right, guys and girls, uh, I gave it my all avoid Memorial day weekend, avoid July 4th weekend, avoid labor day weekend. Those are three no no's in the summer. Why too many crowds, too much crazy shit. And as you get older, you want to navigate the crazy shit. John Stein. I'm from good old SA. What's SA? Uh, is that Savannah, Georgia? SA? What does SA stand for? She's going retract that. Maybe you spelled it wrong. All right, John Stein. I'm sorry about that. So, all I can tell you is that um, I'm done. I'm exhausted. I was waiting for Jenna to uh, stay uh, where she was from. But yeah, look, you say inspirational nomad, I like it better when the trolls can come in or when it's public. Well, guys, look, that'll be few and far between. We'll still mix it up a little bit. We're in a season of balance. Uh, but I, you know, I like to protect my well-being. I like to protect my time. And like I say, guys, you pay the cost to be the boss. And when you're the boss, even though I don't like the word boss, I like the word manager better. When you're managing your life, you choose what you want. Gina, I'm just learning how to navigate this YouTube. Well, I want to tell you, this is how you learn. You show up and you press a bunch, bunch of buttons. Uh, and you figure it out from there. San Diego. Well, I would say this. If I had to move anywhere other than South Florida, it'd be San Diego. Why? It's Southern California. It's the most similar feel to South Florida that I could get. Because I wouldn't go to Texas, no disrespect, but the Gulf of Mexico is not the same as an ocean. And I've been to Georgia, which is the next state north of Florida, and that ocean is not, that environment's not inspiring to me. So, and I've been all up and down the East Coast. There's nowhere on the East Coast that I like the beaches that much. Now, even in the summer, I don't like going up. No, I don't like it. So, for me, unless we're talking about the fall, so for me, if I had to live somewhere else, it'd be San Diego. Now, San Diego, you ain't going to find no home base by the beach for 200000 you know. And I know John Stein will testify to that. You probably, a home base like that by the beach, you're probably looking at a million or more, I would think. Um, Aaron, have a great night. Th Aaron, thank you for sharing that information tonight. Be blessed in your season. We appreciate you. We respect you. Salih, minimum, oh, this is interesting. Minimum wage here in Morocco is... 3,000 DHS, which is $300. Well, uh, is that, that's not per hour, is it? Is that per paycheck? Right now, I think in, well, in Florida in 2026, minimum wage will be $15 an hour. Uh, that's why I look, and most, most jobs now, whether at the gas station or Planet Fitness, they're 12 or 15 right now in Florida. So that's why there's some inflation that's going to be here to stay no matter what. But, you know, that's still, you ain't going to buy no home base with $12, $15 an hour. But that's not to buy a home base. That's to get a W-2 and get some stable income and then move up. And like I said, guys, if you broke, you don't want to own a house. Why? Because I own two houses. And what I can tell you, guys, you're going to be paying more money than you think. So just remember, uh, Jono, uh, Sam, I'm your future wife. Well, I appreciate that. Being that this is members only, uh, I'm not. I just want to say thank you. Why? Because I believe you. Uh, there's enough sincerity in that, and I believe that we could take that in good humor. Now, 
being that I have a home base, do I think about wifing a, a girl up or being with a girl? Well, you think about it a little bit, but I, I'm nowhere near really even considering it. Why? I just do not have that personality. I don't have the personality to go back home right now and be with someone else. Even though I love women, I respect women, and I, I see value in a relationship at times in your life. Um, I also know myself that it's like everything else, guys. It's like, is the nomad life perfect? No. Is the home life, a home based life perfect? No. So you're trying to find out for the season of life you're in, what's best for you. So there was a season of my young life. I'm very thankful I, I had some relationships. I felt, I felt some blessing to experience love. But the older I get, the more thankful I am. I didn't have kids. I'm not in a relationship. So, and I don't plan to switch that algorithm. But even though I see some beautiful women down here, I'm not going to lie about that. I'll tell you, Jonna, if I ever come to San Diego, I'll look you up. Awesome here, my friend. Stay love. Doug, Sali, is that per month? Doug, ready to move from the Pacific Northwest to Morocco. Jonna, absolutely a million. Yeah, I agree. Your home base in San Diego. I'm going to need to marry a sugar mama, Jonna. Hey, Jonna, you a multimillionaire? Damn it, I may be ready to settle down. <laughs> Love, absolutely a million or more. Yeah, all right, so here's the thing. Let me take out this one. So you said, why does San Diego cost more money than South Florida? Now, it depends what part we're talking. But on average, San Diego costs more. The, the temperature is more moderate, okay? It, it's less humidity, less heat. Now, it still gets hot, but the, the lack of humidity makes it a Mediterranean environment, 70s and 80s, lower humidity, whereas Florida, tropical environment, 90s, sometimes feel like 100, high humidity. So the average person does not like the intensity of South Florida all year round. That's why most people who own property here, they're not here in the summer, believe me. And that's why I'm not mad at these. That's why I, I stay here in the summer, because I don't like to be around too many people. But... So the average person would rather it mild than hot sauce. Florida's hot sauce. And San Diego's mild. It, it's like, you know, some people would say perfect. And they have great job opportunities. Uh, and so, you know, that, that would be a consideration. Um, uh, where are we at? Uh, Sully. Oh, that's per month, Sam? Okay. Well, it's all relative to your cost of living, right? Like, I don't know, like, uh, does Morocco have universal health care? Do they have subsidized housing? Uh, do they give out, like, free gasoline every month? You know, it's like, you know, you say, well, I don't want to move to Alaska because it's close to Russia. Well, you get a petroleum dividend. The oil companies give you a couple thousand dollars a year. You say, well, I don't want to move to Vermont. I just got a remote job. Well, Vermont passed a bill that if you move to Vermont, you make it your home base. And you're a remote worker, they'll pay you a ten thousand dollars one time. So there may be incentives that we don't see within that minimum wage. What's the what's the average house in Morocco? What's the average subsidy? What's gasoline per gallon? Uh, does the government just give you a, a wife, a side chick, and a house and universal health care and, and low pay? We don't know like all the dynamics. And even in America, every state is different. Like ESP is in Alaska. We don't know what she does. We don't know if she works at Dairy Queen or what, but we know she gets a petroleum dividend. You know, we know that you got to pay people to live in some areas because, you know, you got to subsidize it. Um, Sali at Doug. Yes, Doug. Sali. Morocco sounds fascinating. <laughs> I want to tell you. Uh, Jana, cracking up, Sam. Good. Laughter's entertainment. It's value. What? Hey, this is what I want to ask you, Jonna. What comedian, Chris Rock, Will Smith, uh, Steve Martin, what comedian shows up every day, goes live every day, makes a video every day, engages with his audience every day? You name one. And then if they do, you name one huh, that the admission is only $4.99. Impossible. Impossible. So what I would tell you, keep showing up. Know your worth. So I want to thank you with gratitude, not entitlement. I want to thank all my members. Thank you for the gracious super chat, Brandon. Thank you to everyone who watches in the background. I hope my videos help you 
inform you, motivate you, make you laugh, entertain you, encourage you, get the most out of your life. Sweat. Love, respect, and gratitude. Thank you.